Joining us today is fitness mogul and boss mom, Rushta Mushaji, who just recently had her second son. And she speaks to us about maintaining a healthy fitness and nutrition routine during and after pregnancy. Welcome back to The Loft, Rushta. Thanks for having me, babe. Congratulations on your second bundle of joy. Now, I know we've previously discussed your fitness journey, lifestyle, and your nutrition plans, but tell us about any challenges that you experienced during your second pregnancy and postpartum that you didn't experience with your first pregnancy. So every pregnancy is different. Every female is different. The second time, I feel like it was a lot easier. I knew what to expect, and my body just kind of kicked in with the flow. Uh, I was never really an anxious pregnancy female in the first one either. So the second one, I kind of just enjoyed it a lot more. I also uh, knew exactly what to expect. I prepared myself for the worst, if you know what I mean. Mm. Now talking about preparing yourself for the worst, we see this so much, Rushta. Many women either feel pressurized to get back into shape much quicker after birth or try start too early. So what advice can you give them with regards to that? And what can can they do during pregnancy to assist them getting back into shape postpartum? The most important thing here is, especially what you mentioned, is how are you treating yourself during your pregnancy? So the pregnancy is not, it's not about losing weight at all. And a lot of people feel confused and conflicted. You are carrying life, you are growing life, you are taking care of your baby. It's not about your weight. But throughout the journey, it's so important to remain active, lift weights if you can, jump into the pool, do aerobic lifting, go for light walks, give up your trail running, give up other extreme sports, mm -hmm. but continue to move. I feel that a lot of the problems and the, situa the situations that pregnant women find themselves in is due to lack of movement and lack of proper nutrition. Mm -hmm. So things like um, crazy cravings, it's an indication that your body is lacking something. Backache, it's an indication that you're not exercising enough, you're not moving enough. It's about giving your baby the best environment to thrive and to ensure that you're going to recover and be your best self after the pregnancy. Not necessarily getting back into the same genes. It's about recovering strong because you don't know what kind of birth you're gonna have. Are you gonna have a vaginal birth? Are you gonna have a cesarean? And that way you want your body to be prepared for whatever comes your way. I know that a good fitness regime is key at this stage and also eating well is key. But let's get stuck straight into the fitness regime and maybe we can touch on the food a little later. You've got three key workouts that you want us to participate in and you want South Africa to also get involved in. And this is to help strengthen mommy from the inside out. Yes, so it's very important. I'm going to take you guys through three movements. The first three move. The first movement is a deadlift. A deadlift teaches you how to bend correctly through the hinges of your body, through your back, and it's so important to strengthen your back, especially when you're carrying weight, so that the pressure is not carried all the way through your through your back, and that your back is strong enough to hold that weight. Okay. So a deadlift is very important. If you don't have a weight at home, you can use a bottle of water. Um, Anything really, you can just, you can grab a child. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I can just imagine, you I can, can just imagine like the mummies with their water bottles or with their babies if you don't have weights with you at home and getting stuck into this exercise. So let's make sure that we've got good back posture and that our backs are strong, Rushta. Yes, okay, so you're going to hold the weight in front of you like this. You're going to take your legs, not too wide, about shoulder width apart. And a deadlift is more of a bend. It's a bending movement. It's learning how to bend correctly by hinging at the hip and hinging at the knee while maintaining a flat back. So the weight is in front of you like this. You're going to hinge and bend forward, looking forward with the spine, taking the weight through the hamstring. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull it back up through the hamstring. So we're using the lower part of the body, your entire posterior chain, to lift that weight up instead of pulling the weight through your back. So you don't want to round your back. You want to bend through and then lift the weight up and squeezing your shoulder blades together to ensure that perfect posture. Okay, so whilst we've got our backs engaged, our core muscles engaged as well to strengthen those backs, strengthen the posture, what's the second exercise you've got for us? So the second exercise is a squat. I like to add weight to my squat. The 
moment you add weight to your squat, it ensures that the squat you do body weight and more explosively by exploding forward is going to be stronger, it's going to be more efficient. It's also going to help you if you are a runner or walker, which we all are. So you want to kind of be strong on your legs. You're going to hold the weight like this in front of you. You're going to take your legs wider this time and you're going to sit back with your arms out and your chest up and you're going to go as low as you can go. And then drive through your butt all the way up. Keeping okay. your chin and your chest up and not rounding your back. Keeping your chest open and your chin up. South Africa, I hope that you're also getting valuable tips and advice in terms of posture and in terms of your form when working out because we don't want to injure ourselves when working out. We want to make sure no. that we're doing the exercise correctly and we're making sure that we're not hurting ourselves. Okay, so whilst we've got our deadlift, our, our backs are strong and our glutes and our cores are now strong from the squats, what's the third exercise, Rishda? Okay, so the third exercise is a kettlebell clean and press. It's very important to be able to press weight up overhead. It strengthens your shoulders. You make sure that the weight is going through your back and through your core. This is very important when you're carrying babies, when you're holding kids, when you're holding your laptop bag, when you're putting your weight in the overhead locker, you want to be able to lift weight. Yeah. So as females, I feel we don't really need men to help us. It's nice if they do, but it's more about, I know that I can do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so this, ex so this exercise, you're gonna put the weight down. You're gonna clean it up, getting underneath the weight like this. And then from this position, you use your stomach muscles to press the weight up. Okay. Back down slowly with control. And then we're going to do the other side again. Clean it up, get underneath the weight, push through your core, everything is through your core. Wow. You see, Rushda, previously when I used to pick things up, I used to try use my shoulder to pick things up, or of course, my elbow. But I don't want to get an injury, so pulling from the core here is what's key. Getting that core yes. to give you the strength to pull the kettlebell up. I love it. Or if you're using a water bottle, whatever you've got at home. Or a tin, a tin can of food. Oh, I love that, a tin can of food. Okay, so it seems like we've got all three workouts and we understand what our body needs to be able to be the best mommies to our babies. We've got the deadlifts, of course, making sure the back is perfect. We also did a squat with you, South Africa. And then at the end, we decided to lift it up, pumping up the energy, pumping up all that fitness. Rushta, thank you so much. Any final tips for moms out there that have got the exercise down, but the food just keeps getting them down? Oh, you know, you, if you head out to my website, www.brushtush.com, I've got tons of educational articles explaining to you which is the best route to go while you're pregnant, postpartum, and as well as breastfeeding. Specific guides to help you achieve your goals. Because, you know, women, we are so diverse and we go through different phases in life. And we need everything to go with us through those phases. And that's why I've created a whole range of things that suit every solution that you need. Oh. Just like that. I just want to say hallelujah, hallelujah, because all moms across South Africa are saying thank you so much to Rush Tush for giving them the fitness and, of course, the nutritional guidance that they need. Cheers, my love, and all the love to those two gorgeous boys. Bye. Thank you, bye. And just like that, South Africa, you know we eat together, we learn together, and we work out together. So please may you send all of your fitness workout videos to our social media platforms and we can be watching and enjoying a fitness routine with you. Use that hashtag Afternoon Express.